Hi everybody. Um, just wanted to come on real quick and talk to you a little bit about one of my most favorite things, summer fruit. Um, I know we're all getting super, super, super excited about, um, oh my gosh, that sounded a little Midwestern that about there did. Uh, I used to live in Chicago, so hi. Um, okay, so you guys, I don't know if you've been with me on my Periscope history, but I was on a big borrowed iPad because my phone didn't work. And so now I gave that back because now it works on my phone, but I'm having to get used to reading the smaller screen. This is interesting. Okay. Anyways, I digress. Uh, get used to it. I do that a lot. All right. Anyways. Okay. So I'm talking summer fruit today uh, real quick and some fruit tips for you because this is Summer fruit's probably one of my favorite. So um, I'm, first I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what's in season. I'm going to be doing um, a what's in season, probably monthly feature on the blog. And um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's in season right now. We've got berries, cherries, nectarines, peaches, plums, and... Um, if you think, oh no, losing connection, Periscope, I tell ya. Um, anybody else having connection problems? But if you're good, let me know in heart or just put thumbs up if you have a good connection. <clears throat> um, it's always hard to tell. I had some periscopes that I couldn't get anywhere on listening today. So, okay, well, I'll keep going, see how it goes. Um, every once in a while, heart or thumbs up just so that I know that you have, just so that I know that you have, um, a connection. Hi, Jeannie. Okay, so um, here we have some nectarines that are in season right now. And I wanted to show you a little bit about, I don't know if you guys can tell, because in the picture it looks a little yellow, but it's actually kind of red. It's almost even a little wrinkly. And those sunspots are what you want. Let me see if I can get a better one here. But see those pretty freckles? You want freckles in um, your nectarines. And in case you're not a big fruit person, nectarines are the smooth skin and the peaches are the fuzzy skin. Um, there's a white nectarine and a yellow nectarine. These are um, organic from uh, Costco um, of the yellow nectarines. You always want to look in your fruit. Um, I don't know why the picture has it a little bit more yellow than it actually is in person, but um, and you don't want yellow around here because if it's yellow around here, that means that it was picked too early and it's probably not going to be your best fruit. So you want some color around the stem. That means it was picked um, when it was more ripe and you're going to have a better tasting fruit. And color around, it should smell like the fruit that you're actually purchasing, um, it, you know, for your peaches and nectarines. Um, even your pineapple, which I have over here, it should smell like a pineapple. If it doesn't, then um, it's probably not going to be very tasty. Um, and if you guys have some questions, you can Twitter me at Salvage Sis, or you can um, try to put these in here too, and I'll try and get to them. Um, it should also be heavy for its size. If it's not heavy, then you're probably getting a foam peach or nectarine. Have you guys ever had that where it's kind of foamy and pasty? Um, that's because it's not heavy. So when you pick it up, it should feel heavy for its size. And that means you're actually getting the juice of the nectarine. Okay, so we're gonna go over here to the pineapple. Um, oh, just real quick. See on here, it says product of USA. Um, if you're buying in season, all your fruit should probably be coming from the United States except for, well, the pineapple is probably from Hawaii, but, um, oh, you made peach ice cream last night. Yum, Jeannie. Okay, so um, your fruits, if they're coming from another country, there's a couple of concerns. One, you don't know the pesticides that are being used, and two... Um, you really don't know, um, it's probably not in season and it's not going to be as tasty. So, um, you know, I know that there's a big push to 
uh, getting things off of season, but um, it, the um, time it has to travel, it's not gonna be very tasty. Okay, over to our lovely pineapple. Now on your pineapple, you should get some golden color to it. This one was a little bit greener than I usually buy, but you want it to be golden. It's gonna smell like a pineapple. And then if you take um, from the top, and, oh, it did it last night, but right here, uh, the leaf should come out. Um, you know, so if you have a, a stem that comes out pretty easily. See, now this one wasn't, but pineapples are not supposed to um, uh, ripen much after they're picked. So you want to get as, as golden as possible. And it, again, it will smell like a pineapple. I usually smell the bottom of it. Um, and then do you all know the trick um, to redistributing the juice um, heart? If you know the trick on that one, if not, I'll tell you guys the trick. It was in the news a little while ago, um, but I'm not seeing if you guys know it or not. But you actually twist off the top. It just twists, and then you can um, turn the pineapple upside down for 15 minutes before you're about to serve it because it redistributes the juices. That's why a lot of times you'll find the sweeter part down here and the not so sweet here because it hasn't been turned over. So all the sweetener has dropped to the bottom. So if you do that, then you'll have um, sweet pineapple throughout. Aren't you guys glad you know that now? Yes, it's a great trick. So it just needs about 15 minutes and, um, and it really, really does work, I'm telling you. Jeannie, have you done it before? Okay. So let's go over to our blueberries. Okay, you guys all have to try it. Let me know. Okay, blueberries, raspberries, all your berries right now. Um, I do have up on the blog a way to flash freeze because they do go really, really quick. So if you um, are, you know, unless you can eat them pretty quickly within the next couple of days, especially like a raspberry, those go very, very quickly. Um, so uh, I do have instructions if you look for, if you just go under berries or um, flash freeze on the blog, there's a search bar and it'll tell you how to flash freeze and some of my tips on that. Um, you don't want to wash your berries ahead of time. You want to wash them right before you're eating. And if you're prone to wanting to wash um, your fruit, make your own homemade spray. I need to do a blog post on that. But don't buy the um, ones at the store. They're very expensive. Buy the ones, or just make your own. And it's super simple. And um, a lot of melons you actually, and melons are in season right now. Um, a lot of melons you want to wash um, with some kind of spray. And sometimes I'll even use a soap if it's pretty dirty, just because, like a mild soap just because um, it sits on the ground and sometimes um, people get sick from some of the stuff that gets in the ground. So, um, it, you know, once you cut it open, the knife goes through into the melon. And so you want to uh, avoid that. So you want to make sure your melons are really, um, are really um, clean. Okay, so we've got, um, there's our peach. And a lot of times um, you might think that um, a fruit is, you know, if it gets a little shrivelly, which this one is getting close, it needs to be eaten in the next day or two, but don't throw it away. Always cut it open and make sure because sometimes shrivel just means deliciousness. Has anybody ever tried anything shrivelly and that's a little delicious? You know what? Sometimes cherries are that way. If they get, if you've bought really good cherries, which cherries are just going on the way out right now. But if um, you get some cherries, um, sometimes they're, it's just concentrated um, flavor. So don't throw away shriveled fruit. Taste it before. Cut it open. See if it looks good. If it's squishy, probably not. But if it's still firm to the touch, you probably are still good to go. Okay, so we've got plums that are going right now. Um, apples, if you store apples next to your um, other fruit, it will help help, the, help them ripen. So if you have some, um, uh, you know, peaches that aren't quite ripe yet, go ahead and put an apple. You can put them in a, 
in a brown paper bag and uh, the brown paper, uh, the apple, the whatever gas um, will help ripen those peaches. Um, so if you don't want your fruit to be ripened anymore, then keep your apple separate. All right, and so bananas go really, really quickly. So what you want to do if you want the bananas to stay um, a little bit more unripe, because not everybody is a fan of the black bananas, then separate them individually, and they won't ripen as fast. So I think that's it. Does anybody have any questions? I'll wait for just a second to see if anybody has any summer fruit questions. Um... Or maybe you can tell me what uh, fruit you're eating right now. But I will tell you, I'll wait just a second for questions, but I will tell you a lot of these um, are on the way out. Um, so if you're a summer fruit person, yes, exactly, Costco. Yeah, these are from Costco. Um, if you're, I just got these at Costco last night, so, and they are really tasty. Very, very good. Nice and shrivelly, sun-kissed. You know what's really bad? I have a confession to make. And I don't mean this in the slightest because cancer has been hit in my family very hard. But I call them cancer um, freckles because they're so concentrated. Like if, you know, it's wrinkly skin and um, sun-kissed. And that's what you want in a fruit. But anyways, so now everybody will unfollow me because that was kind of tacky. But anyways, <laughs> all right. Um, so anyways, um, a lot of this fruit is on its way out. So if you enjoy it, you want to go ahead and take advantage of it um, while it's there. Nectarines won't be, <laughs> thank you, nectarines won't be um, in season very much longer. Peaches are really strong right now. So try and pick some up if you enjoy them. Um, strawberries should still be good in most places, but um you know, enjoy it because it's not going to be lasting much longer. And if you want to, most of your fruit, your summer fruit, um, can be, you can use the flash freeze method so that you can enjoy it all year long. Strawberries. Um, strawberries, again, don't, um, yes, it is almost apple picking time. Um, strawberries, again, is the same thing. You don't want to um, uh, wash ahead of time and they will uh, go really quickly if you can buy if you can buy them from a little market because uh, or any place that grows them locally you're gonna get such a better strawberry. Um, any of the berries that the further they have to travel, the earlier they have to pick, and they're just not gonna be as tasty. So if you can get them as close as possible, they're just gonna be so much tastier. But yeah, don't wash your berries before. They're hatched. No, <laughs> don't wash your berries before um, you eat them because the water bogs down the berry and will make it mushy. So you want to wait until the last possible time. I hope that helps on the strawberries. Okay, guys, um, if you have any further questions, uh, feel free to um, send them to Twitter or you can direct message me or you can al always go to the blog, leave a comment and a question. And, um, or you can always email me at salvagesista at gmail.com. Okay, bye guys. Thanks for joining me.